Welcome to Module P. We're going to be talking about family and family support. We're going to describe the importance of family to our residents and things that we can do as nurse aides to support our residents' family members. Family can be a group of people. Um, they may be related by blood, may be related by marriage, or just by a feeling of closeness. Having family support offers a sense of encouragement, assurance, and a sense of connection for the resident um, offered by relatives or groups of individuals close to that resident. Family and family support gives the resident a sense of connection. It helps um, the resident make difficult decisions, especially end of life decisions. Family gives assurance that specific wishes will be honored. Again, often um, this can be things like end of life decisions and wishes and offers personal support and encouragement. Our family help to meet our needs for, if you think again of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, family helps to meet safety and security and love and belonging, therefore decreasing our loneliness. Our family provides comfort, support, um, contact with familiar people and things, mental stimulation, and a reason to live. So when we have family members coming to the facility, we want to make sure to orient the family members as well. Learn and use their names, um, get to know the family members, their likes and dislikes, uh, become familiar with their routines, and keep in mind that each culture and family tradition is unique and may differ from, differ from our own. Our role is um, we want to work to build positive and trusting relationships with our residents' families. Let them know that their role as a family member is supported and important. Keep the lines of communication open, be respectful and kind, and encourage the family members to be able to express their emotions and their thoughts and their feelings as well. Sometimes we have to help reassure family members, especially when they're dealing with a resident, so their family member, whose actions um, may be different than they're used to, who may uh, be causing you know, some issues or concerns. So we wanna be reassuring to those family members. Provide explanations when asked and refer to a supervisor when we're not able to answer them. Keeping in mind that if questions are asked about the medical status, the healthcare plan, the diagnosis. If family members ask us as nurse aides, we definitely want to avoid answering those questions and um, getting the nurse to answer those. We want to try to incorporate and honor family wishes if possible, allow time for privacy during family visits, and if the resident is okay with it, um, it's great to allow family members to help with the resident's care. And that could be um, feeding and dining, um, helping with hygiene or grooming. Um, and we can always encourage family members to bring special foods or beverages for the resident as long as they're not on any specific restrictions. We need to remember to use tact in dealing with family complaints and requests that we can't honor. Um, an example that popped into my mind just because if we were talking about having family bring favorite foods or beverages, sometimes they want to do that um, and they might not understand why their mom is now on a pureed diet and can't have her favorite um, soda right out of the can. So we want to use tact and we want to just have the nurse or the doctor come in and explain the reasoning um, if they're not really seeming to understand it when we tell them. Um, but again, it's for our patient's safety, of course. So be respectful, um, do, do a, avoid getting involved in any family affairs, be tactful when asking family members to leave a resident's room, like when you're having to do care, like changing an adult brief or something, um, just be sensitive to those things. After family visits, it's really important that as healthcare providers, we observe the effects on the resident. And if we notice there are any negative effects on our resident, we need to report those immediately. Sometimes residents might ha not have a living family member, so maybe friends or neighbors act as family. And again, it's important to remember that a resident's family may not look like our definition of a family, um, and that's okay. 